Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial I'm just going to be quickly going over how to create some really nice detailed texture brushes uh, using maps from the Texturing XYZ website. They currently provide uh, 175 different uh, facial alphas which you can then process in, an, in a way that I'm just about to show you uh, to quickly and easily detail out a character based on certain regions of their face. So I'll show you this now. I'm uh, gonna create a sphere, drag it out, hit T on the keyboard, and then come over here. I'm gonna select a different uh, material. So first things first, I'm gonna open up this dock. I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna open up alpha and drag that over here, and also brush, drag that over. Now I'm going to set this uh, sphere to make poly mesh 3D and I'm going to subdivide it to about 8 million polygons. Okay, so first of all we need to load in the alphas that we're going to be using for the texture detail. You can also get these types of maps from another website called Surface Mimic where they scan different surfaces and they also have some cool skin textures. But for this example, I'm going to be showing it with texturing XYZ. So let's go import. We'll navigate to the maps. So if we go to resources, textures, XYZ, 175 skin alphas. And I'm going to be using male face 40s. Now, I strongly suggest you come through here and rename all of these maps. Just so they're a bit more descriptive. Because these are the names that are going to be showing up at the top and the only way you're going to be able to differentiate between them is due to this name. Make sure they're not too long as well. Uh, the way that you can find out where the locations are, where, where they are, uh, you've got numbers here and when you first download this package these numbers correlate with with which map. So I just went through and named them like 7 is I right, 24 is I left. Um, one is temple right uh, and all that stuff so that's what I have here so I'm gonna just load these in hit open and you'll see them all come in here and I'm just gonna zoom down a little bit now this this technique that I'm about to show will only work in ZBrush 4R8 but it's really powerful so we can cl click on cheek 01 left and then we can say two mesh and basically what that's done is it's projected that uh, that alpha onto a piece of mesh, which we can now uh, typically like grab dock, which is the way um, you used to grab alphas from from a mesh. But now what we can do is we can come down to brush here, and we can say from mesh. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop up here, and we got our name Chico one left. And uh, yeah, you just keep going through. So we'll do the next one, go to mesh, and then from mesh, and you'll see it pop up here. Next one, to mesh, from mesh. Next one, to mesh, from mesh. To mesh, from mesh. To mesh, from mesh. I'll, and then I'd go through and do all of these, but I just, It'll get a bit repetitive if I do that. So I'm going to close this off. I'm going to go back to our 8 million polygon sphere. And I'm going to select the first alpha here. And I'm going to drag it out on the surface. First of all, I need to set it to drag rectangle. And we'll drag it out. And there you go. We're getting an alpha on the surface of our sphere. Now, there's a little bit of an issue where you can see there's some bulging occurring here. There's like... A bit of a rim on this on this bulge which is coming out and that's not really what we want because if you check this out and we go to the side and I undo this you can see the the surface is pressing out quite a bit and yes we do have the intensity quite high but I've found that still doesn't hundred percent get rid of it so what we what, what I found that you can do is you go to brush depth and you can set embed to negative 50 and that'll almost completely get rid of the problem. So now you're not getting that bulging around the edge as much. Um, it's much, much more minor. So that's exactly what you want. Uh, negative 50 isn't a hard and fast rule. 
Uh, it seems to work perfectly fine for these textures, but I played around with the surface mimic textures and they were slightly different. So you've just got to play with it back and forth until you get uh, something which, which works for you. I actually think, if I can recall, negative 60 was actually even better for these ones. Yeah, see there was still a little bit of fall off there. But once again, now we can bring down the Z intensity to 15. I just found 15 gave me a look that I was happy with. Because you don't want these details being too overbearing, like too inflated. So what you want to do from here is, uh, unfortunately that adjustment that we made, negative 60 here, it doesn't actually go through to all of them. So you got to make sure you do this for all of the brushes. Oh, sometimes there's a little bit, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but like, if I go here, I'm actually just gonna dock this. Actually, we've already got it docked in here. Um, so if we come down, and so now if you check this out, negative 60, negative 60, negative 60, zero. I'll set this one to negative 60. And then the next one will already be negative 60, but the next one will be zero. So yeah, just make sure they're all negative 60. And then once you've done that, you can come in here, go save as, you can save the brush where you want, call it whatever you want, and then just bring it in as soon as you start doing some skin detailing on your character or creature. And um, yeah, it's, it's just ready to go. So it's super, super powerful. It's crazy that we have all this, um, all this information in a single brush, just makes it really, really powerful and, and gives you a really fast workflow. But yeah, there you go, that's, that's basically it. Now you can just come in here and start layering in these details. And they're very, very powerful, very um, really nice uh, textures, uh, alphas which you can get in this 175 alpha pack from um, Textures XYZ. So uh, in the next chapter, I'm gonna show you how I start to apply these to my, to my creature. And um, yeah, the whole process of, of layering these on onto the form, just to add that final bit of detail. So I'll see you in the next chapter.